uh, we have some simple rules uh, what we call thumb rules and uh, which are uh, based on numbers uh, in personal finance why i am talking about them first of all none of these are uh, written on stone that you can't uh, deviate from that these are all written these are indicators to how approximately it should be and it could be very wrong depending on the uh, on each circumstances so let us come to some of the simple rules first is the rule of 72 in how much time does your money double so if you are getting 12% interest then the uh, uh, money will double in 6 uh, years if you are getting 6% interest you the money will get will double in 12 uh, years right so 72 divided by 12 is 6 72 divided by 6 is 12 and i believe that for this exam for this rule everybody gives you the same numbers which is 8 and 9 if uh, inflation in the country is 8% then your money will uh, or if the interest rate that you are getting is 8% then the money will double in 9 years or uh, and vice versa and the reverse so 9% inflation or 9% interest rates will mean in 8 years your money will double so the rule of doubling so similarly there is a rule 144 also which is the rule of tripling in how much time does your money triple if your rate of interest is 12% then 144 divided by 12 is 12 years so in 12 years your money will triple so this is a basic rule these rules don't change for anybody whether you are a scientist whether you are a, a driver of a scientist or whether you are the uh, bureaucrat controlling the scientist for all of you it is the same answer right then there is this rule of 70 which tells you that uh, if inflation is 7% then in 10 years the value of your money halves so if you have 1 crore today what will be its value well if inflation is 7% then it tells you 70 divided by 7 in 10 years time this will have a current value of 1 uh, 50 lakhs now uh, i mean if you, if you take today's value or just to inflation that time this 1 crore if you do nothing if it earn nothing it would be worth 50 lakhs so that is the rule of uh, 70 there is the other rule which is a rule of um, retirement how much money do you need for your retirement corpus now this is again uh, it's a simple rule which says 30 times your annual uh, expenses at the time of retirement now if you retire at the age of 60 uh, you require say 30 years uh, expenses so let us say your expenses are about 10 lakhs a year so you need about 3 crores if your expenses are 5 lakhs a year you need 1 and 1/2 crores this is the law which says that but unfortunately or fortunately uh, while planning for retirement if somebody comes and tells you okay according to this uh, chart you require 3 crores and you currently have uh, say 3 and 1/2 crores you can retire does it mean you will retire answer is no there is too much of uncertainty saying oh this formula is great it's fantastic it uh, it uh, it is easy for me to remember especially if i am 42 years of age i need to know that okay raw currently my expenses are x x will double at least twice at 60 so to currently my expenses are 4 lakhs per year it will become 8 lakhs 8 lakhs will become 16 lakhs so 16 lakhs into 35 crores approximately 4 crore 80 is what i will require for retirement why do we make such simple uh, numbers numbers and rules is simply because you will remember them more easily so if i tell you money money doubling 72 money having or uh, inflation impact on your portfolio is seven, rule of 70 uh, then money tripling is rule of 144 how much you require at retirement is 30x your annual expenses somebody could say 25 somebody could say 35 i am not getting into that uh, and how much money can you withdraw from your corpus well to me the answer is very simple it depends on how well you manage you are managing your corpus so ideally the american study says 4% is what you will be able to withdraw on a 50 50 basis 50% in debt and 50% in equity now if you have a portfolio which is 80% in equity doing very well and 20% in very good quality gsec or a good quality portfolio uh maybe you could do more maybe you could do less maybe you don't need so much maybe so it's very difficult but then it's a simple rule right it says 4% rule 4% rule where did we get it from we imported it from the us uh does it work it could but more importantly it at least allows you to think that if you want uh, x amount of money you should have 25 times that as the corpus so once you have that as a corpus you are financially free to do whatever you want you can live off that income but remember you can't spend too much you can spend only uh, at the rate of 4% so that is another uh, law then uh, you have uh, 
there is this uh, another law which says 100 minus age how much should you have in equity well if you are 60 years of age you should have 100 minus your age so 40 percent should be in equity and 60 percent should be in debt again a nice rule uh, but which may not be applicable to everybody because most financial laws are not applicable simple so simple that it can be implemented for anybody so the rule which is applicable to azim premji and mr ratan tata or mr mukesh ambani is going to be very very different from the rules applicable to their uh, topmost executives their secretaries uh, their uh, current uh, drivers chauffeurs whatever for each one of them the rule will be very different for example for mr mukesh ambani the retirement age for a driver could be 45 saying beyond that they lack alertness so i don't want to use so i will use only 45 22 to 45 year old drivers or it could be completely reversed and say i don't want to use a driver who is less than 45 years of age now when that driver comes into play do the same rules apply to him well i don't know the same whether the same rules apply similar rules can apply but then the, the amount of money that a person really requires and the amount of money that a person uh, uh, has and the, uh, how much of understanding based on all this for example I have always said if Rakesh Junyunwala and uh, Niranjan Hiranandani woke up with each person's uh, portfolio interchange, both would have been alarmed saying, oh my god, what am I doing with so much of real estate and Niranjan Hiranandani would have said, what the hell should I do with my titan shares, right? So, uh, this it works, 100 minus age works, but uh, for each person the answer could be slightly different. Then there is the uh, insurance rule. How much insurance does a person need? Well, if you're an insurance salesman, you will say, uh, sir, you need 20 times your annual expenses. Now, is this right? Uh, yes, it is right at, uh, at a very young age. If you're uh, 22 years of age and earning about 4 lakhs, um, well, a 20 times uh, portfolio of uh, insurance of 80 crores, uh, 80 lakhs to 1 crore is not such a bad uh, number to target. But if you are 30 years of age or 40 years of age and you are earning very well, say you are 40 years of age and you are earning a crore, uh, does it mean you need 20 crores of uh, term insurance? Answer is no, maybe no, because you are, uh, and again the answer will depend on whether your wife is working, whether the, the ch how old the children are, etc., etc. At that stage, you take a call as to how many times you require. But the norm which you will hear is anything from 10 to 20. Uh, at uh, 55 years of age, uh, and let's say you're earning 2 crores and you have no dependents, your wife is also earning very well. Uh, the, the 10 times rule says, okay, you need 50 crores of insurance. Answer is, yes, that person is an insurance salesman and you don't need so much of insurance. But these are the rules. So, we will go by the rules. Then there is this rule. Uh, of uh, 50, 30, 20 rule, which says that 50% uh, will go to your needs, including uh, uh, your uh, groceries, rent, your EMI that you pay, etc. 30% uh, will go for wants, entertainment, vacations, and uh, gifts for people, friends, etc. And 20% should be saved. So, 50, 30, 20. Each person can tweak as they wish, but 20% uh, seems to be a sarcosanct. You should not be changing that for all your goals put together. 20 is less because 10% is what your retirement itself is going to take away. Uh, then there is this rule which uh, largely I have myself created is the uh, house buying rule that is called the 3, 20, 30, 40 rule that uh, where it says uh, where I say that your cost of your house should not be more than 3x your CTC. Uh, husband and wife both are running the joint CTC. Uh, for example, we have to uh, assuming a slightly different number say 75 lakhs is what the husband is earning and 50 lakhs is what the wife is earning then uh, 75 plus 50 but you can do that 75 plus 50 only if you are sure that that 50 is going to continue for whatever reasons if she decides to do a different business or she decides to take a break for having a kid or the husband decides to take a break and start his own business then that income should be ignored for at least 3 4 years till the business is well established till then don't apply this formula these are formula don't apply to you if you are if you are suddenly downsizing from two income to one single income um, how much uh, should you have as an emergency fund again um, the rule is you should have 6x so if your monthly expenses are x you should have 6x as a uh, as a emergency but the thing is again the question is uh, these are nice rules to follow but the rules may be very different for a rich boy and a poor boy 
if the parents themselves have keep a keep a lot of money for emergency the son knows that he can call up his dad and say dad i want some money please send it but if he uh, if his parents don't have that kind of uh, wherewithal to pay him money then he may need to keep some extra money so that his parents call up and say we need money you should be able to send so 3x 6x 9x 10x whatever you can choose uh some people choose not to have it at all saying i can redeem my mutual funds i have a credit card in which i can use but this is the rule 3x or 6x is uh, the rule which people use uh the amount of uh, i think i've covered a lot of uh, stuff and uh, yeah i think i'm done right so thank you